Okay, Jeep fans, Gauze Garage coming to you from Englewood, Florida. And we have the Jeep Club here. I don't remember seeing this many Jeeps. But let's walk down the line and take a look at what we got. Um, they've been out muddy. <laughs> There's a beautiful Double D. It's quite amazing what the Jeep brand has done with the variation on its vehicles. They're immensely popular. They sell very well and they hold their value tremendously. And plus, the individual identities with what people do to them, they kind of make them their own. Um, they put their names on them. Look at that thing. Cool. All right. Amazing. And again, the Jeep brand, um, I sold Jeep as a salesman years ago. And the brand identity is freedom, don't tread on me, patriotism, individualism. Okay, just smile. I know those steps. Okay. And yes, you can see these, uh, they're using them. They're taking them out and mudding. That's great. And this is America's all utility vehicle. And what collection of Jeeps would not be complete without one parked on top of the other? I love it. Ha <laughs> ha, this is why they own them. What a vehicle. Man, that is sweet. Oh, we got one back there. 365 Jeep Life. Ha <laughs> ha, you gotta like it. Dragonborn Overland. The original company, people call Willys. It's pronounced Willis, but it all led to this. And one of the best moves Chrysler ever did was buying the AMC Eagle Jeep line. All of it dropped off, but the Jeep still going strong. Hi. And the one thing you get about these Jeep clubs is they stick together. And the reason for them coming out today is there's a 13-year-old young lady suffering from brain cancer, and we're all showing up to support her and her family. And look at all these Jeeps, man, coming out to support this young lady. That's the type of people I want to hang out with, and I like them. And there you have it, Jeep fans, the conclusion of our row of Jeeps supporting this car show. This is Gauze Garage coming to you from Englewood, Florida. Charity car show. Thank you very much.